guys welcome back to another video this is gonna be a super chill vlog just taking you guys along whatever's happening in my life for the next couple of days kind of in vlogmas style and in the new year i'm gonna get back into more structured videos productivity morning routines things like that but for the holiday season i just want to kind of chill and vlog like very real stuff that's happening today's wednesday i'm about to go to work and i've just been doing some editing i just got back the message from the nutritionist lifestyle coach who improves egg quality and her first available appointment is not until january 9th so <laughs> i made the appointment and it's a virtual appointment but it's currently december 10th the time that i'm filming this so we are losing a month in terms of things that i could be doing to improve egg quality but as soon as i have that appointment i'll definitely let you guys know everything she says but one of the things my doctor does have me on is the ritual essential prenatal you guys know i've been taking this for so long now this is the only prenatal that my doctor trusts and they are partnering with me in today's video but this is the only prenatal he trusts because it's the first one that's made traceable so all of the ingredients we know exactly where they're from what's in this with some other brands you just don't know what's in them or where they they get them who their suppliers are and my doctor literally told me to not take anything else besides the ritual brand of essential prenatal and i trust my doctor another cool thing is that they have the capsule and capsule technology which not only is super aesthetic and makes me enjoy taking my vitamins but the way it's designed it doesn't upset my stomach when i do become pregnant there is obviously morning sickness that is a big part of a lot of people's journeys and ritual prenatal does everything they can to not add to that problem so you can take it on an empty stomach or with food it doesn't really matter you can take it at any time of day it's just two capsules it's super easy and there's no like weird scent that comes up through <laughs> your throat afterwards i know that's a little bit tmi but with some prenatals it's just hard to get down also it's recommended to start taking a prenatal at least three months before you're trying to conceive so if that is part of your journey sometime in the future definitely get on ritual so guys make sure to check them out you can actually get 30 percent off right now with my code rachelv30 and if you're not satisfied with your order within 30 days they will give you a full refund so there's no risk once again that's code rachelv30 and it will be linked in the description down below but i need to get ready for work and i need to make my breakfast sandwich but you guys it's been making me gag so much i don't know what it is i think i'm just like over it at this point you know when you eat the same thing every day for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden you just can't stand it that's how i feel with my egg sandwich so maybe i'll come up with a new breakfast thing but i need to get ready so i will see you guys at work and i know it's hard because you haven't seen my lawn but if we have a lot of weeds and you kill the weeds and then you fertilize the grass do you think in in most of your customers that the grass becomes a nice healthy lawn or like how far is too gone for some of these lawns that's a good question. I get that a lot. So what will happen is the weeds are pushing out your regular grass. So once we get rid of them... Greek for lunch today unfortunately they only brought falafel there's no like chicken or anything so i wonder how much protein is actually in this but there's also not really any sauce and we have no idea who brought this lunch because typically with drug reps they'll schedule it with us and we know like okay we have this lunch today but this lunch showed up like fully catered and we have no idea who brought it <laughs> which is a good problem to have mm. that hummus is not great mm. not impressed I don't even know where this is from. Like what restaurant? Okay, I'm home from work and I got a package. It is my new scrubs. So excited. So these are from Uniform Advantage. And I wanted something a little baggier. So these are like straight leg fit. This is a size small. I also got a medium to try on. And they're kind of like low waisted, which is super cool. Super soft. They're like buttery smooth. I also picked up this nursing jacket, which I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but it's got buttons. I thought it was cute. I got a size small. Everything is so cheap from Uniform Advantage too. You can't even see, dude. Can you even see? It's all black, so it's hard to, to see it, but... Okay, and I also picked up this little under scrub, but it's not great. It doesn't give you much shape, even with the extra small. It does have the thumb holes, but I think the Amazon one is actually better. And then now I'm wearing the mediums. I could honestly do a medium or a small in these pants, and they would both work because they're kind of drawstring. 
well, not kind of, they are. Okay, this is the Amazon dry fit shirt, which I love. I haven't worn this in so long though, I don't know why. I think I like this combination for like a chill work day. So I will link both of these down below. Like I said, I could do a medium or a small in the pants. Okay, what I'm trying to show you is a scrunch waist. I think this is so cute, if, especially if you size up. So these are the mediums. And I just really like the way it sits, especially with a tucked in shirt and a looser pant. Love. What do you think, Finny? What do you think, mommy? Whoa! Are you standing up? Anyways, uh, no gym today. AJ is working a little bit later, so we were just like, okay, let's take a rest day. I'm thirsty. No plans for dinner. Um, probably gonna grab Chipotle. It is Wednesday. TGIW, because I have off tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Hi, baby. She thinks, well, she knows that I have cheese right here. You want some cheese? I just got back from the gym. It's one o'clock. I have an OBGYN appointment at 3.20. Here you go. So I'm eating some lunch. I'm doing some tuna salad with crackers and cheese. What? You want more? Say less. One second. I think I hurt my back again today or like I reignited it, it was healing. So I was going lighter on squats for a while and then today I was like, okay, let me go heavy <laughs> and I regret it. So moral of the story is don't rush back into things if you're injured. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Look who it is. Look who wants more cheese. You want more cheese, baby? Baby, here you go. You like that? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hey, stay up here with me. Come here. Vinny, you want cheese? Look. Right here. Dude, cats are so dumb. Vinny, right here. Do you want it? <laughs> I love her. I love you. What is it with animals where we just talk in baby languages? Baby voice? Why do you have to do that? She takes it and she puts it on the floor. It's so nice outside today, you guys. It was 50 degrees in the morning. I literally worked out in a sweatshirt the entire time. Not this one, my Miami Dolphins one. The one I wear everywhere. I need to get more sweatshirts. Look at this little taco. Tuna cheese taco. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I did a little body shower for obvious reasons. And here's my OBGYN outfit. <laughs> this Lulu black long sleeve that I actually never wear and it's so cute. And I decided to throw on some jeans today because I haven't worn jeans in so long and they fit me still. So I'm happy about that. I used to wear these at my dad's all the time. They're Abercrombie and I love them a lot. My song mop bag, my Reeboks. Let's go tell this man what's been going on for the last two years. What do you mean? I mean, it's like a subscription I can add at any time. What if they're not good? I wanted to taste them. Those are expensive for 12? I'm not gonna tell you the price. Uh, I mean, it's, I know it's gonna be expensive, but all these- No, I'm not gonna tell you because then you're gonna not wanna do it. But, but what are we, like, what is this trying to fulfill? Like, dinners or my lunches? Dinners. Or what? Dinners and or lunches, doesn't matter. I mean, would it be cheaper than what I spend at Chick-fil-A? How much do you spend? At Chick-fil-A, I spend $17. Yes, it would be cheaper than that. How do you spend $17 at Chick-fil-A on lunch? I get a chicken sandwich meal, a, uh, and then another chicken sandwich, just a, just a sandwich. Oh. That's, and then extra sauce. That's still a lot. I mean, I, I, I love Chick-fil-A. Yeah, and it's... Like, oh, I spend like $12. Okay, yeah, then it would make sense. Sense? Yeah, and the point is if they're good, it's worth it like if because they count all the calories the macros for you Everything is clean ingredients. So the question is but not then, the only question is are they tasty enough for us? Tasty? No, are they, well, they fill me up for the price because LaGraha, LaGraha and Chick-fil-A, they fill me up. I am stuffed. If I'm not stuffed with, with this Right. Well, each portion is like 600 calories, so it's not going to be like a 1500 calorie Chick-fil-A meal. <laughs> he knows I'm filming. 
He's so pissed. What is he looking at? Bruh. We ordered some meal kit services from this brand that Chris Bumstead promotes. It's like a meal kit service for people who go to the gym. So it's like got your protein, your carbs, and your fats, and everything is super clean. So that should be arriving tomorrow, and hopefully it's amazing, and it saves me from having to cook dinners because you guys know I'm really struggling with that. So I'll let you guys know if it's good. Here he comes. They don't like really fats. There's literally poop on the chairs, like on the backs of the chairs in the back. They're, they're, I think it's birds. No. Why are they attracted to our house? They know we love cats. I'm gonna poison them. I am. I, I, I am very, they, they have a soft spot in my heart until they start effing with me. Anyone that effs with me, <laughs> I will kill them, okay? Receive a text with directions to our location. To, oh, it's order online. Okay, I'm here picking up some burgers for dinner. Woo! I placed an online order. I also just dropped off a UPS package that I forgot to drop off earlier today. AJ went to the gym. It's 5 19 p.m. Oh, the appointment went well. It was just a standard appointment, and I told him everything that was going on, and he did confirm that he agrees to not remove the endometrioma. So. We have two doctors telling me these things, guys. And I also asked him if he thinks the endometriosis is causing the poor egg quality, and he said that most likely yes. And other than that, I did ask him if IVF pregnancies are higher risk than normal pregnancies, and he said usually no, so usually you're fine, and it's just like a pretty much a, a regular pregnancy. He said there are a couple of upgrades, he used the word upgrades, in terms of care, so there may be more ultrasounds, more testing during the pregnancy, but overall his IVF patients have fared perfectly well. So that's that. I'm so hungry. Can't wait to eat this burger. That's the plan for tonight. All right, this is what the burger looks like. And we got a cookies and cream milkshake to share. Okay guys, it's actually the end of the next work day. Uh, we just got our meal kit. What we got here? Okay, we got bison sliders, buffalo chicken quesadilla. I got two of each meal. So there's two of those each. Steak filet and rice, chicken fried rice. Vinny! Two of those. Steak and sweet potato fries. Skinny chicken fettuccine. Ooh, cold. And that's it. I'm so excited. Okay, so. The point of these is that on the back, they're each about 600 calories and it tells you the macros. It tells you the macros right here. So this one has 58 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat. So, so excited. I hope these are good because that is gonna be such a lifesaver for me. Let me turn my blinds down because my neighbors are so nosy. My mom hates my scrubs. She thinks I look too schleppy, but I'm like, it's a vibe. And the girls get the vibe. I don't know, whatever. The next day, and I got another package from my management company, and they always send the cutest stuff. Some winter gear, this little beanie, so cute. This little cup, and the box itself is gorgeous. Mountain Lodge theme, and then they sent this cute jacket, which is so nice of them. It's a little half zip, and then on the back it says Table Rock. So cute for the chilly days that we're gonna have hopefully. But I wanted to do a review on the meal kit service that it's called Mega Fit Meals. I don't think I officially said that, but every portion is between 11 and $15, depending on what you choose. And there's 45 meals on the website. This is not sponsored by them at all. And there's not a rotating menu. So it's always the same 45 meals, which you may get tired of at a certain point. If you use it long enough, you may want more like variety. So we had a couple of them, the Buffalo chicken 
chicken quesadilla i would say is a solid seven and a half eight out of ten for a quesadilla and it also came with ranch which was super helpful the chicken fried rice was not very good i don't know what they did to the rice but it was like not great i heated it up on the skillet too so i went all out i would rate that like a five out of ten i also had the bison sliders I would rate that a 6 out of 10. It just wasn't special. I could eat it again. It just like, it was just like a bison burger. And it came with the spicy ketchup, which was pretty good. Anything above a 5 means I would eat it again if I had to. Um, anything below a 5 is absolutely no. AJ said he had the chicken Alfredo and it wasn't great, but he also didn't heat it up properly. So not sure about that. Um, so overall, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if there will be enough good meals that we enjoy. It's given that there are only 45 meals on the website, I'm not sure that we're gonna find like a solid bunch of meals that we like besides the chicken quesadilla. So I'm not sure, I'm really not sure. It's probably not worth it, <laughs> but what do I know? I'll keep you guys posted as I eat the other ones, but like it was to the point where AJ did not wanna eat them. So that's not very helpful for me because the point of this is so that both of us can have dinners and so that I don't have to cook for either of us. One's calling me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. You're gonna grill? Okay, that's crazy. He called me asking to defrost the steaks because he's gonna grill tonight because last night I was like, I need your help with dinners. And he was like, say less. I'm gonna cook some dinners. Let me know what your biggest marital struggle is because for us, like the daily struggle we have is food. What are we gonna eat? How can we be moderately healthy, but also enjoy what we're eating, but also not stress about it? Comment down below. Also, you guys, I used the new Whey hair oil last night in the shower. Not the hair oil, the hair gloss in the shower. So you put it on instead of conditioner and you let it sit for five minutes and then you rinse it off. And I straightened my hair this morning to see like how it would be. And it is so like glossy and smooth. Normally after I straighten my hair, it's pretty frizzy and I have to put oil in it to kind of tame it down, but not with the gloss. How good does this look right now? It's like silky smooth. This is what it looks like. It's just a little bottle. It doesn't seem like when you put it out on your hand, it doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything. It's actually like less glossy than a conditioner, but don't put too much. I think I put a little bit too much and make sure you wash it out all the way because it is very, very like strong, so. I'll have that linked down below as well. Um, also makes a great Christmas gift, like I said. But don't forget to check out Ritual for the best vitamins. Um, I know this video was a little bit shorter than normal, but like I said, I'm just trying to enjoy the holidays and not stress uh, about like getting to a 20 minute mark or whatever. I try to do 20 minute videos at the least, but it just is what it is. Like I said, in the new year, I'm gonna be back on my grind, but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me this whole year. I'm excited for the next video. There's gonna be an exciting announcement, so make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.